Topic 1, Lesson 8, Special Quotients. Well, in the last lesson, you learned that multiplication and division are related operations. In this lesson, you're going to use multiplication facts to understand some special division rules. The standard is foundational for 4.0 AA3. We're going to solve multi-step problems posed with the whole numbers and having whole number answers using the four operations. So that's part of it right there. Our focus though is how does the inverse relationship of multiplication and division show why certain division calculations involving one make sense. Let's take a look. Let's say we have four friends that want to share four books. How many books would each friend get? So you have four friends and they want to share four books, how many books would each friend get? So let's take a look. Our solution, we can easily just draw a picture here. We have our four books, one, two, three, four, and we want each person, each of the four friends, to have their own book. So here's friend number one, here's friend number two, here's friend number three, and friend number four. So as we can see here that each friend is going to get one book. So we have, and here's the equation, four divided by four equals one. So this is the four friends, four books, and they're going to be divided or shared equally so they each get one. Now, what if there were four books and only one person? So stop the video, try it on your own, and come back when you think you have an answer. Good luck. Okay, did you find an answer? Well, it should be pretty easy. You have four books and divided by one person, that person's going to get four books. Pretty simple. And you can know that by, if you go the reverse way, you know that 4 times 1 also equals 4, because we know 4 times 1 equals 4. So that is the inverse relationship. So again, if you kind of follow along, 4 times 1 equals 4. But we found out that 4 divided by 1 equals 4 as well. So now try some on your own. Good luck.